Oh boy, are you in for a treat today. This is part one of a two-part series that is all about how to move and how to sound in labor. One of the big things that I recommend when talking about how to manage pain is to stand up and move and be mobile in order to cope with contractions naturally. On TV and movies, labor is portrayed as almost like a torturous experience because the woman's laying on her back, she's in the hospital, she's hooked up to monitors, she's under these bright lights, she's not wearing her own clothes, she's being poked and prodded, so it's very, very hard for her to cope with contractions and she ends up asking for an epidural. Now, imagine on the other side of that coin, a woman who feels a contraction and is able to get up and move around and use her body and move her body to cope with contractions and take the edge off that pain. You've got to get up during your labor and make your labor something that you are an active participant in and something that you can move with and dance with and ride like a wave. So that's what today's episode is all about, how to move to ease the pain of those contractions. The first option is the hip roll, and this is an awesome option for back labor. If you're experiencing back labor, or even if you aren't, this is a really nice position where you just kind of move and stretch out your lower back and just allow that pelvis to open and change positions over and over and over again. Just roll those hips, you can go up and down or kind of around in circles. All of that is gonna to help to relieve pain and get baby optimally positioned. The next helpful option for movement in labor is the lunge. And this one is really great if you are looking to really help apply the baby's head to the cervix to help to increase dilation. Say there's been a bit of a stall or we wanna kind of augment the contractions. Um, then this is a really great position for that as well. However, depending on the stage of your labor, this may set you a little bit off balance, so you might wanna make sure that you have a strong, sturdy partner to help you out. The third option would be the sway, and this one is really nice to do with a partner as well, or you can do it alone. Here's a big trick to coping well with contractions with movement, and it's that you wanna find something that has a rhythm or a pace that you can focus on, much like your breathing. And then one of the last ones that I really, I, I never really recommended it, it's not in the Love Your Labor program, but it's one that I kind of found myself coming back to, and I've noticed other women as well, so I'll mention it here is the belly rub. So this one actually isn't a ton of movement. You can even do it standing still. You can incorporate it with the sway as well. It's just so nice to have your belly touched when you're in the middle of a contraction. Or you can have support from behind, having your partner stand behind you to pr make sure you don't you know, wobble over. Um, and also your partner can do the rubbing himself as long as he's committed to the same pace, the same route, because it's that ritual, that repetitive rhythm and motion that is what's going to relieve the pain of the contraction. It gives you something else to focus on, but if he's going slow, slow, fast, 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 slow, and kind of in all these random directions, it's very distracting. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today on movement and labor. I hope you enjoyed that video, special little treat. And remember, part two is coming up next week all about the sounds of labor and how each stage of labor sounds and what to look out for and what to avoid. If you like this kind of information and you want to hear more about natural labor preparation, you can sign up for my webinar that's happening this week over at loveyourlabor.com forward slash webinar. You can just give me your name and email and I'll send you all the details. If you liked this video, please be sure to actually like it, leave me a comment, tag a pregnant mama friend, or share it on your page. I want you to birth boldly and love your labor. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Bremerts Baby Talk.